So welcome to the second part in building the wiki. So let's do the XY gantry. Just another quick one. I'm gonna keep, keep it short and simple. So this is not fusion, this is fusion and we are going to assemble these parts. So let me play through them. So there are four V slot ex extrusions and there are four three-way corner brackets and we have the motor bracket, two of those and the idler bracket, corner bracket, two of those and of course the idlers and the screws and the motors so and we're gonna print four parts actually two parts but and they are duplicated so let's go to QRAM I'm gonna just do that quick and the motor corner bracket opens up as you want it to you don't have to do anything with it and it prints without support anything so you can print one or two at a time and let's go to the idler pulley corner that does not it does not uh, print like this so you need to turn it around so from the top view turn it 45 degrees and then from the side view turn it 90 degrees so it stands on these two edges then you can print it actually without support or you can just add some support for the top here inside and you need to oh, that one. So that's all you need to know about printing. And uh, let's see how you know uh, the three-way corners. They you can see in the previous video how you assemble the three-way corners. That's pretty easy. And we're gonna have a look at the motor bracket and the corner idlers. So let's go to the animation studio. And you need to. You need to slide these um, these nuts into the resource before before uh, adding the um, the three-way corner, or else you can slide them in. Or you could use hammer nuts for these parts. That's uh, fine as well. So first the nuts, then the bracket. Then we have M5 by 10 and some washers like this. And then we have the motor and the M3s, three M3s by eight if I remember correct like that the washers and the motor pulley so that's it and on the other side you do the same except you put the motor pulley upside down so one motor pulley goes the right way the other goes upside down and then for the corner idlers the same way you slide in the nuts first and then the bracket then the M5s like this and then you need some shims these shims are important so let me see if I can pick the right one. Yeah, so that goes there. And we have uh, this idler, which is the bottom one. And we have another shim. Yeah, that goes up top. And uh, we have also one shim in the middle. So these shims are pretty important. 
if you want idlers to turn nicely and you, of course you can give the idlers some uh, grease or something some lube, some lubrication is always good we have some lag infusion so sorry for the lag and then the last idler pulley those are all toothed as you can see which is important as well I would not do non tooth and we have the screw for the idlers there you go there you have a final final assemble corner idler pulley bracket and of course then you add the corner brackets you can add the corner brackets before the idlers and so on you figure that out yourself and you do the same on the other side there's nothing special here just same procedure and then you should have yourself a XY gantry so I hope you're excited about that and we're gonna do a talk about some more exciting stuff so uh, just subscribe and share and keep uh, building and go make, make something thank you for watching